The bike's been really put through its paces in the last couple of weeks with uh, 7,000 kilometers over 15 days. So today we're gonna have a look at changing the oil and changing the oil filter. First thing we gotta do is remove the, the bash plate. And that is going to be a size T30. So just the standard T30, not the plus one. Because if you didn't know, there's two variations of the torques. Once that's removed, it's a great opportunity to take it out and give it a good clean. And also get up under here, under the headers, under the pipes, under the engine, and give that a good clean out as well. You need a 10 mil Hope you can see that 10 mil hex head and that's uh, allowing the oil to drain from the sump. While you're doing that then you're going to have to pop the cap off where the oil would go in as well. So I'll show you that now in one sec. Remember it's going to be hot so just please be careful. You gotta open up the cap on the pet on the yard as well. If you take the screwdriver that actually came with it, um it's actually an opening tool as well. So what you'll see is pop out the bit, put it in the side of the handle, put the handle in place, and then that gives you a bit of leverage then to pop off the cap. Once you've that done, you're moving around to take off the oil filter. Which is in there. There's various different tools on the market for this. This is a new one I've just bought. Fairly cheap, uh, cheap and cheerful. Um, goes onto the oil filter as you tighten the socket wrench on it. It'll tighten up around it and hopefully shift it with no issues. With a clean rag, just make sure there's no dirt particles just in and around where you're gonna put the new filter, the new gasket. You can see there. The new filter I'm gonna use is a K&N filter uh, for simplicity. It's got a nut on the top for you so you don't have to worry about using any sort of a tool to take it off. Seven, eight mil nut. Um, before you put it on, strip off the plastic Give it a quick lick of oil just around the, the rubber seal of it and it's going on uh, fairly lightly at about a uh, foot pound. So there is instructions also on the filter of how to do that as well. The sump plug. You get the aluminium washer out with the old, put on a new one. People do say if you get caught short you can just reverse it and use it again. But for the sake of a couple of euro. I'm just going to replace it. See it's magnetic so I'm just trying to get any of the crap that's in there and then otherwise just give it a nice good clean so it's ready to go back on. Looks good. And it's ready to go back into the bike. So the sump plug now back in place. Take your 10 mil hex head. You go into 17 foot pound first. You can I'll let you do the conversions yourself. And then you're going to 24 foot pound. I'm gonna clean it all down. 
then you're going to top it up with your oil get the cap off already it's under four liters slowly put it in uh, keep an eye on it watch it on the level glass now i've got just over two and a half liters gone in at the moment and you can see the line is about just coming up on the halfway so we keep going give it time to settle take it out for a quick spin let's settle again and double check everything so i had 3.2 liters gone in and the glass was looking like it was uh nearly full i was up to the uh, higher end so i brought it for a very very short spin you'll see the difference now so it's just the engine flushing the oil, the oil all around uh, the different components and into the oil filter and stuff so you go again top it up it will be closer to the four i'd say it'd be about 3.8 now once that's done just back on with the, the belly pan and uh that's it job done thanks for watching